Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 1st to the 7th of March 2021. So I'm going to pull a first card, Capricorn, because these cards are a bit chunky. <laughs> so let's, um, let's pull your first overarching energy for the week. So what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Capricorns for the week, please. Okay. So I have the Two of Swords. So the message here is being unable or unwilling to make a decision. Follow your own heart rather than trying to make others happy. Pretending there is no problem over analyzing a situation okay so what do we have for capricorn please angels spirits guides message for our lovely capricorns for the week please message for capricorn for the week thank you okay so we have attachment let me read that out to you So this is the energy deck. Okay, so we have attachment, perceived need and the choice to let go. In the upright position, this card reveals that your passage forward is being stopped by strong attachments to old patterns or people from the past. The chain at your wrist is bolted to fear from the past or desperation about the future. Although you may wear the mask of pretense or even contentment, you simply can't seem to go forward. The stuff that's keeping you stuck could be physical addictions, emotional patterns or even old relationships. This card is telling you that it's time to take action. You need to break out of your chains and to move forward to an open, free, healthy and authentically happy life. It may take some courage and effort to let go, but know that you are capable of doing it. Until you do, the difficult, the difficult energy will just repeat itself, keeping you stuck. And it's two of swords is a card of being stuck. Okay. And the message is follow your heart rather than trying to make others happy. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I said that, I've got yes. So the message is whatever you've been asking angel spirits guide the universe for. There's definitely an energy of yes, you're being told yes by the universe. Someone might be saying yes to you this week. But it's an energy of breaking free of old attachments, things that don't serve you anymore. Liberation energy. So I'm going to pull three cards, Capricorn. And remember, it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Capricorn. Thank you. Message for Capricorn. 1st to the 7th of March. Okay, we have Capricorn energy, the four of coins, but it's in your challenge position. The Empress. And the King of Wands is your outcome. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Capricorns. Thank you. So we have the Five of Swords. We have the Five of Coins here, Capricorn, with the Empress. And the, <laughs> the Knight of Swords with the King of Wands. 
bottom of the deck I have the six of cups so you're being told yes there's a feeling of being stuck I mean sometimes that two of swords can be I don't know how something's going to pan out I don't have enough information to make some kind of decision or choice so you feel stuck because sometimes it is an energy of you just don't have the clarity to move forward you know it's that kind of energy um The Five of Swords can be a card of conflict. And it's your challenge position. Uh, conflict, conflict, bad feeling, resentments. And we have it with the Four of Coins, which is Capricorn energy. You know, in the challenge position, it feels more like you were challenged in terms of money, career, finances. And you don't, you don't have clarity. You don't know how you're going to release from feeling stuck here. Um, you want to do something, but it's almost kind of like, I, I don't know how something's going to pan out here. Um, it feels like there's bad feeling here with the Five of Swords. But the good thing is, with when it's in the challenge position, the Five of Swords, there is an opportunity to release from that. And the key thing about the Five of Swords is it's very consuming energy. It's mental energy. The sword is to do with our mind, how we perceive something, our thoughts, our perceptions, our views, our perspectives. And this is quite a conflicting energy, a negative energy that really affects the mind, clouds the judgment. So the message always with the Five of Swords is see beyond the immediate issue. See beyond what this conflict was all about, because that's your way out. You know, it's Aquarian energy. You know, there's real promise if you see beyond the immediate conflict. It feels like something has, I mean, this can be a card of self-preservation, being careful with money, needing to be careful with money, you know, self-protection. Um, so I, I definitely get this energy of there's been some conflict, resentment, falling out, disagreement, call it what you will words arguments you know that kind of energy to do in it feels to do with money career finances the advice from spirit capricorn is yeah there has been some change in terms of your finances and spirits recognizing that I love the hand coming out to reach, offer you something, because it can be a card of charity. It can also be a card of, you know, in this time of need, in this time of feeling lack, in this time of begrudging somebody else, it is again another five. Um, it's, it's, you know, you are still being watched over by the universe. There's definitely this energy of that window of the church is representative of angel spirits guides god the universe the divine watching over you in your time of need and the message is don't focus on the lack with the five of coins because the lack will eat away at you so positive energy as much as possible i mean this can sometimes be asking for charity for help um you know that kind of thing as well with the five of coins it can be financial loss or changes in your financial circumstances job loss uh rejection feeling outcast that kind of energy you know it is it's the lack but with the empress the abundance is soon to come i mean the empress is a card of somebody who lacks for nothing so the period of lack the period of feeling Uh, definitely, I mean, this can be to do with uh, definitely feeling that lack, feeling not having enough. is soon to be over because with the Empress energy, she is a card of abundance. But a manifesting, she is a card of creation, creating a new path. The time is right to plant new seeds, Capricorn, and that's what you're being told with the Empress. Plant new seeds for your future. Focus on that. Don't let the two fives consume your energy because it will only keep you stuck it will only cloud your judgment it will only 
allow you to over overanalyze the negative in the situation to the point where you don't see the way forward. So there's definitely an energy of break free of attachment. It's, and, and I'm definitely getting this attachment in terms of how something is preying on your mind, on your internal energy in particular. Because she is a positive energy. She is a manifesting energy. She is a card of creation, the birth of something new. Everything is ready now. The time is right. The soil is ready for seeds to be planted, for things to grow. The conditions are perfect. So there is a, there is a bountiful energy, an abundant energy coming your way. Focus on creating a new path for yourself, a new beginning, um, new growth, new bountifulness, new abundance, because there is definite potential, the promise of something wonderful when the Empress comes. Um, she's very good in terms of money and career, very good in terms of love, romance, relationships as well. She rules both. But in this, I'm definitely getting more money energy here. It feels, in this instance, very beautiful. Now, the Six of Cups can be somebody from the past, um, reconnecting to somebody from the past in whatever context. And, you know, this King of Wands, male or female energy with the Knight of Swords, again, male or female energy, there could be some news that brings change. Um, King of Wands is a magnetic leader. If it's a person, generally it's a Leo for me, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or it can be the energy of somebody who is like that. He is magnetic, uh, charismatic, a go-getter, person of action, makes it happen, goes for what they want, they're driven, they bring success into their lives, they're in their power, you know, they're absolutely in their power. Now this could be um, somebody who is in your life or somebody from the past you might have worked with before or it could be somebody, you know, a relation or a friend, you know, somebody telling you some news, information, to do with some kind of opportunity. Remember, the king holds an opportunity here, Capricorn. So I definitely feel for some of you, there is a shift coming. There is progress. Um, king of Wands can also be you in your power, in which case the night is about progress, finding direction, getting clarity. Um, but I definitely feel... I definitely feel in this energy. It feels like somebody from the past quite strongly reconnecting with somebody from the past it could be a conversation with somebody from the past conversations news information learning uh, hearing about something from somebody um and it's reconnecting you with somebody that like i said you've known before maybe the six of cups can also be a card of uh getting back to where you were reconnecting to your own joy your own happiness um it can be that kind of energy as well, Capricorn. So it feels very, very beautiful. But there is definitely some news that brings progress and change uh, this week for some of you. So it feels very, very positive indeed. Which will allow you to break free of whatever this old attachment is. Cut cords, finally. It's interesting, isn't it, you know? I was just looking at that. It looks like scissors, doesn't it? The two, the two swords. They look like scissors there, with the two ends. The way they they've drawn them, it definitely looks like scissors. Um, cutting cords, breaking free of old attachments, releasing from being stuck. All of a sudden, there is the shift. There is the progress. There is something happening here, and it could well be a past connection that you might be meeting again. Okay, so what do we have? Yeah, love it. We have magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. Isn't that lovely? So definite blessings coming your way. An opportunity, definitely incoming or blossoming abundance coming your way. Maybe in the form of some kind of conversation, news, information that is bringing a shift and possibly a connection or reconnecting to somebody from the past or just reconnecting to your own self, your joy. 
Very beautiful energy, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.